Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be taking a look at the AMD Radeon RX 7600 XT. Um, finally got it. I know guys it's a day late. I, I promised you guys that we were going to be uh, doing this stuff yesterday. But you know what man. I tried everything possible to get one on launch day to get it here. So that's going to put me behind a little bit in the overall testing and all of that stuff for this but i plan on like i said i'm going to get you 50 games out i'm going to have this thing installed pretty much throughout the rest of this week weekend probably all of next week uh just really trying to go to town and and get as much data as i can for this this gpu now, let me tell you why I'm excited about the 7600 um, XT. First of all, this card has 16 gigs of VRAM. So that there should be a pretty dang good buffer for your, for your 1080p to 1440p gaming. The longevity that this card is going to bring to the 1080p space should be like four, five, six, seven, possibly like seven, eight years, depending on how these games grow, how Unreal Engine 5 pans out. Um, this this card right here, I do have faith that it's going to be pretty strong. Now, teraflop wise, we're at like 22, 23 teraflops of power out of this. It does have the 128 bit bus, so trying to do a lot of 4K it, on on newer games is probably not going to do that well. Um, 1440p, you know, 1080p, that's pretty much where this card's going to sit. We're going to be testing it, you know, with uh, games like Call of Duty. We're going to try to uh, max out our frame rate you know by dropping settings you know to to like competitive settings and we're gonna and we're gonna like move forward we're gonna try games like forespoken we're gonna check out immortals of avium we're gonna check out some fsr3 and some frame generation we are going to do an extreme dive into amd's fluid motion frames on this on this gpu i want to see how well this card stacks up against the overall PC experience. I want to see, can this entry-level XT card from AMD be, be a good? Like, can it offer me a gaming experience that would rival my Xbox Series X or my PS5? These are questions that I have. And these are questions that I want to answer for you. And I want to help you make the right decision in whatever GPU you're you're going to go. Yes, we're going to test some of the ray tracing stuff. I I will test the games that are friendly to AMD when it comes to ray tracing because I think there's this skewed overall look about like AMD not being able to do ray tracing and that's simply not true. It 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 is true. I mean, it is true when the games heavily favor Nvidia GPUs. Like that's true, and there's no way around that. If 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 Cyberpunk is your your game, or Alan Wake Two, or or some of them other games that that heavily favor the architecture for the for the Nvidia GPUs, then yeah, you're gonna struggle on AMD cards, and that there's nothing you can do about that. And that's the thing that you're gonna have to like really ask yourself: Is this feature important enough to where I, I need to have an NVIDIA GPU. I don't have nothing against NVIDIA or their GPUs. I simply am, am a much happier person with AMD. I like their cards. That's why I'm perfectly okay with investing the money. Um, I spent the $405 today for the AMD Radeon 7600 XT so that I could test this card and, and kind of get like an overall, um, an overall experience for how the AMD stack um, goes across the thing. So last generation, let me just make this clear. Last generation, I bought an MX350 laptop. I bought a 350 Ti or, or 3050 Ti laptop. Then I also bought the 3060 Ti GPU, which is technically a 1080p GPU. And then I bought the 3080, all last generation. So right now in the AMD generation, which is this generation that I that I moved over to AMD, I have bought the the Asus ROG Ally, which is technically in in line with the with a 3050 Ti laptop. Now I have the 7600 XT, I have the 7800 XT, and I have the 7900 XT. Now last generation I did not go above the 3080, so um, having a having a 7900 XT is definitely a more power in 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 a, in a different power um, bracket than what the 3080 would have been. So it it is it is a little bit more skewed, and I can tell you from my own experience, from my own experience, paying with my own money. 
that yes, I do favor the AMD experience significantly more than I do the NVIDIA experience. Now, NVIDIA has awesome tech, awesome features. Nobody can deny that. They're 80 if, if, if NVIDIA was terrible, 80% of PC gamers would not have NVIDIA cards, period. It's, it's plain and simple. Um, AMD's got a lot of work. They have a lot to do to, to, to get into that market and to like really build the numbers and to really build, you know, trust with customers and everything. And f so far as a paying customer, I like what AMD does. I like the rasterization power. I love, I love the feature set. I love the generous VRAM that you get on the AMD cards. And I love the amazing pricing, you know, the pricing that comes in and it's like, Hey man, you get some bang for your buck. So I kind of find it a little bit, you know, disingenuous, you know, to try to, um, to try to look at AMD's price point and always, I, I hear a lot of people always saying that AMD, um, stuff needs to be cheaper. I, I don't personally feel that way. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like they are competitively priced for what you get for them, at, at least in terms of the experience that I've received from AMD versus the experience that I've gotten from, from Nvidia for the price, for the amount of money that I've paid for both platforms. Um, I, I do find AMD to be a, a lot, a lot better value and, and giving me an overall better experience. So let's go ahead and get into what you guys wanted to see in this. I'm going to do this unboxing video and, and we're going to upload this one. And then I'm going to get started on all of those things that I want you to see. Um, all of the games, everything like that. I will get started on those. Those will be individual videos for each game. We'll be going over the settings. They'll be about 30 minutes long, each one of them, but that's the way I'm going to have to do those so that we can do that. And then after I'm done testing those games out, we will start doing comparisons toward the 4070. We will start seeing how it stacks up against the 7800 XT. And we will maybe even, maybe even see what it does against the 7900 XT. So, all right, let's get into this bad boy, man. Gosh, I'm so excited for this, dude. I've been, I've been at work all day, just sitting there thinking about like, gosh, I just want to go home and do my AMD video and get it up there. So boom, we'll get that tape off. We will pull open the box. Now, the, the obviously, the unboxing experience is going to be pretty dang similar to the last two I've done because, as you can see, I have decided to stick with XFX. Um, this here is the, the Quick 309. This is essentially um, the more expensive version that you can get. They do also have a two-fan model. Uh, there will be a link in the description on Amazon for this particular model. Um, but I did buy this one on Newegg. They were the only one that could get this thing to me literally overnight. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. We're going to go ahead and open this big, beautiful box. Um, I love that. I love that foam. Look how thick that foam is. This is an inch thick foam to protect your, to protect your GPU. Obviously you're going to get the little Meller with the little things on the back. You can scan these for like your warranty. You can scan it for um, for your installation guide, all of that stuff is all right there on that little card. Uh, you get another extra packing foam and then your GPU. Now this one here is definitely smaller than the other ones. You get the clear plastic on this as well. Let me go ahead and move up here just a little bit more. We'll try to get you some good shots. I will definitely in the other video have some uh, other, some other, um, pictures of this thing go ahead and get this out of the clear plastic even on wow even on a 349 dollars that's what this was 349 dollars nice metal back plate nice thick hard plastic like like it like you would get with the other ones and this one here the aesthetic of this card i like this aesthetic because it's all black um, all black. It's got the black on the front. It's got the, the plastic, you know, covering all this. It's got the Radeon. It's got the XFX. That just looks insanely good. I love the way this, I love the way this looks. You got the XFX cut out in the back. Slotted metal back here. Uh, really nice looking fins. Uh, two, not one, but two eight pin power connectors. You do have a, a, a switch for your BIOS. You can have quiet mode. You can have performance mode. Oh, and look at that right there. Boom. Radeon. Like, this card looks premium. This card looks very premium for a freaking, for an, yeah. But, dude, XFX makes some, some decent GPUs, dude. I love the quality. I like the way these look. They're, I, I like that thinner look on here. 
Um, the only other cards I've had, you know, like the MS, uh, the MSI Ventus, I've had the, 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 um, the Gigabyte 3080 and then the 3060 Ti was obviously like some knockoff brand that they put in there. But dang, this card is absolutely beautiful. And it does, I mean, you can obviously tell that it is a little bit smaller than, than my other, uh, my, my, my 7800 XT and my 7900 XT. But wow, this is a beautiful looking card. Nice looking PCB board. Whoo, three fans. I, I, I just, I like that three fan look. So I was like, yeah, dude, I want the three fan. This one here should actually boost a little bit higher as well um, than the two, than the two fan version. So we'll check that out, man. We will be getting some, some definite information on this card today. So if you guys like this content, um, oh yeah, um, it's got the three display point 2.1 as well as an HDMI 2.1. So this card should have no problem hooking up to my 4k TV, uh, just like the other ones. And, uh, yeah, this is cool. I like this. I like this, this black, this black finish. That is very, very nice very very nice the radeon boom that is that is one solid looking gpu so all right my friends if you like this content do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to see all of these benchmarks all of these my my thoughts on how this card is um how how it is to to utilize and play games with that's what we're going to be looking at man because this is a gaming channel and that is what is most important is the gaming and how the gaming feels and, and, and how the feature set stacks up for this AMD GPU. So, all right, my friends, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. I hope that you, um, I hope that you come back.